welcome back. This is Balscoop with an episode of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I'm joined as always by Loki and Misa. And when we last left off, we were in the very, very scary Vincat Hall. Don't let the bright colors fool you. It is a scary place. There be vampires. The scary kind of vampires. The good kind of vampires. Yes, we are the overnight guests. Are you staying here too? Please call me Isabella. And yes, I'm currently residing in this hall. That's not the same as the guests, is it? Anything unusual happen? I heard some odd gossip. Oh, I'm sorry, you're worried about the vampire gossip. Well, y yeah, is he a vampire? Not to worry, his tastes have changed since moving in here, so she didn't really say whether or not he was a vampire. So you know the master then. I'd say yes, I know him fairly well. Better than anyone else. So are you two dating? Really? You're asking if vampires date? Okay, sure. Dating? <laughs> That'd be nice. Now let me guess, you two have come to get him to unseal the caves leading to Wendell. Yeah, that's right. How did you know? I thought so. Very well, since I'm his girlfriend and all. I'll ask him for you. Would you really? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Let me give you a tip. A water spirit is trapped in Marsh Cave. If spirits are your thing, it'd do you well to pay a visit. Thanks for everything. You'll find Marsh Cave to the east of the hall. It's not particularly dangerous, but be careful. Uh, as I mentioned before, that I don't think the main character, the hero, Loki here, is the brightest person out there. You'll you'll see what I mean. You'll see. Uh, we will be heading to Marsh Cave eventually, but for now, let's just rest up here. Uh, it's been years since I slipped into bed. You could have at the inn. I know I didn't really have you do it, because I didn't really need the, the status, but still. Yeah, don't be so eager to knock, knock it off. Apparently, Misa wanted to do stuff in the room, but we apparently didn't want to. Oh, no, apparently she's worried about vampires still. No, oh, never mind. He always falls asleep on me. Sure, today, today sure was tiring. I'll rest a bit too. And Loki's out. No sense of urgency at all. Uh oh. Nightmares! Enter sepia tone. Wait, no! No sepia tone for this one? It, it comes in full color. Yes, run! Just run! <laughs> I won't leave you. I twisted my ankle like a girl in a horror movie. You run ahead. But my mother told me to protect you, so run. My parents and I will catch up later. Got it. We'll meet up later. Yeah, for sure. And then she runs off and ditches us with the guys that enslave us, and we never did meet up. It wasn't for sure. It wasn't for sure. Whoa! That dream again! She's gone? Where'd she? And yes! She has been... Well, removed? Taken? You might expect. That girl does look quite promising. The Count will be pleased and the Ebony Butler strolls just very slowly around to well, what will be our next destination. Do they mean Misa? No, the other girl that's missing. They said the, va the master is a vampire. Nobody... One person said that. One person. Better go save her quick. And by quick, I mean I'm heading over here first. Could she be two? Could she be a vampire? What? She did leave her diary, Isabella's diary. Zan B A B A month. Salamander Day. That cad! I thought I'd get to see him. And then he runs off to the human world. What nerve, aristocratic devils! What are they thinking? Are the news? I heard that three Gemma knights brought down the Vandal Empire and ushered in peace. Among the three Gemmas was a minstrel named Grons, with a magical voice. Which reminds me, that primate princess was going to look into that human grons. Did something happen to her in the human world? Either way, this must be investigated. It's a diary. Is it Miss Isabella's? It said Isabella's diary. The hell, man. 
Hold on! The Gemma Knights? They were active 20 years ago in Lord Granza's time. How old is Isabella? At least 20. Is it really that hard to imagine someone living 20 years? The hell? Uh, this part of the game is different if you are the heroine uh, instead of the hero. Uh, so basically everything's going to be reversed as you might expect. But should be relatively simple nonetheless. First we got some Batmoses to take out. And I do want to take out everything else in this room, even though there are Lime Slimes, which are these guys' official's name, and that was just the completely wrong way. Now, I do like using the arrow, um, the bow and arrow, going either up and down, up or down, I should say, vertically, uh, because there's no elevation changes, pretty much. Oh, and we do finally get our first ring of hope you don't hurt yourself on the treasure chest. Uh, basically, if you land on OK, like I did right there, then you don't get hurt and you get the item. If you land on the arrows or the spikes, then that it hurts you. It hurts you. Well, that's, you know, relatively standard in some RPGs, but never in one uh, quite like this, I thought. Uh, but this is standard across mana games. And down go the other Batmoses. So let's open up this treasure chest here and grab ourselves a light coin. Let's take a look at those two things that we picked up. Now if I look, I do have the light coin here, which gives me the healing light effect. It heals you in battle. Uh, 30 HP, I believe. And then what was the other thing we picked up? We picked up gold. There was gold. It's not here, is it? Now, I can't remember where gold is placed, to be honest with you. Is it... Now, that's where I just was. Neat, trait, mystery. It's not mystery, no. Recovery... Where the... Is it gone? Is it raw material? There it is. Raw materials. Okay. They scared me for a second there. <laughs> Minus bronze. A piece of metal. It's bronze. And God, this menu can get complicated sometimes. All right, we need to head down here. Take on these enemies. You see that? You see the elevation? I do not like using it at that angle. But if I do it from this angle, there's no elevation requirement. Uh, now, it doesn't really matter to me whether or not I take out the lime slime or the batmos last uh, for these parts because I want. I'd rather farm the the batmos uh, right now if I can. Uh, but the Lime Slimes tend to drop better items, so either way. And I did level up! Hooray! Is that the last thing? Where is the last one? These over here. Oh, there's two more. Oh, wow, that... No, what am I doing? There. I got poisoned, I think. That's <laughs> what it looks like to me, but the, the level up is getting in the way there. So let's finish up the level up here give myself another level of thief and then we can head in here where we do find a broken mana goddess statue and a magic walnut now a magic walnut is a healing item which restores your MP by 80 so I'm gonna be holding on to that for quite some time because I only have, where is it, 30, there we go, and I don't know if you guys caught that, that, but there is a new enemy here, so I'll be trying to take him out shortly, do not hit him when he does that, it will be bad for you, he counters you, I'm going to talk about poison, of course, this is Deathblow, go Deathblow! Uh, for him, I'm going to stick to the sword, not because he's weak against sword, but because um, I have more skill in it, I'm going to be able to do more damage with it. And for that, we get another ring of hope I don't get hurt. And I did! We got hit with spikes, and we got an earth coin out of it. But let's take a look at that. Earth coin. Other items. Where the hell... What the hell? Where'd my coins go? 
Okay, apparently my coins are gone. Hooray! That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, let's head up here. And, uh... Oh! We do have this guy. Apparently he's guarding the fireplace. I'm gonna need my bow to take him out, and down he goes! There was a spirit trapped inside! Hacha! I'm free! I'm Salamander, fire spirit! Are you the one who removed the meta ball? Thanks, now I'm free! Huh? I shouldn't pay you. After all, you're the one I owe my freedom to. Whatever you need. Ooh, ignite to remember. I'm cooking with gas! The puns that the fire bat did were a lot better, but we have gotten Salamander, a fire spirit. MP's low. I'll give you a tip. Sit when MP's running out. Press the L button and A button at the same time. And we've learned how to sit. But remember to sit when foes aren't around or you may get smoked. Great, I can use magic now. Not really. What we need to do is actually equip the fire spear. We need to equip Salamander. Uh, power up 3 MP and then use them as an attack. It costs 6 MP. And as you can see, I don't have very much MP at all. So I'm going to take this opportunity to level them up just a little bit and I'll be right back. 